Another example here, he calls for a pass as he likes to shoot from these spaces, but the pass was short so he scans again as he was getting back to the ball. You can see how his initial positioning was allowing him to go for a shot if he wanted to. We will get back to his shooting stats in a minute, but that little scan helped him in taking on the opposition as you can see. By holding on to the ball for just around 2 seconds, his teammate had enough time to perform the forward run. Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we'll analyze Liverpool's new signing, Wataru Endo. The first thing that you would notice about him is his ability to play direct passes to his teammates between the lines. He turns his body as he receives the ball to face forward and pass the ball easier. You can see the amount of scans he performs before receiving the ball, which allows him to decide where to go with the pass as he welcomes pressure from the opposition. Here again, he takes a couple of steps backwards while scanning to give himself more space and passes the ball between the lines. Having a quick look at some numbers here, Endo completed 46 key passes last season. He also completed 28 passes into the penalty area. To give you a feeling on where these numbers stand, let's look at Fabinho for example. Fabinho completed 17 key passes only last season. He also completed 17 passes into the penalty area. We're not comparing the two players here as they both obviously play in different leagues, but Liverpool ultimately signed them as a replacement for Fabinho and Henderson. Endo is not an aggressive presser. You can see here how he blocks the passing lane before pushing forward, forcing the opposition to play the ball to the side. He played this double pivot role in the World Cup, something that Jurgen Klopp is trying to implement currently with the new roles given to Trent Alexander-Arnold. You can see that he performs multiple scans before receiving the ball, but I notice that he sometimes misses such opportunities of carrying the ball forward even after performing the scans correctly. That being said, his numbers are also decent in this department. He completed 32 progressive carries with the ball last season, that's 17 more than Fabinho, but 5 less than Henderson. Endo is a loud player on the pitch. He calls for a lot of passes and makes himself available for his teammates. I have highlighted here the amount of scans he performed before receiving the ball as plenty of you guys asked me to cover this. Notice how he did not miss the critical scan as well. This time, he made some use of the spaces in front of him before receiving the ball. Let's have a look at this example. Endo performs a normal scan and a critical one before receiving the ball. Now he identified where his teammate is positioned, so he goes for the forward pass between the lines and continues with the forward run. Notice how this allowed him to pick the pass to the player inside the block between 8 players. Another example here, he calls for a pass as he likes to shoot from these spaces but the pass was short so he scans again as he was getting back to the ball. You can see how his initial positioning was allowing him to go for a shot if he wanted to. We will get back to his shooting stats in a minute, but that little scan helped him in taking on the opposition as you can see. By holding on to the ball for just around 2 seconds, his teammate had enough time to perform the forward run. Endo scored more goals than his expected ones last season. His XG came up to 3.8 and he scored 5, whereas Henderson and Fabinho did not manage to score last season despite their 1.4 and 0.7 XGs respectively. Two of the five goals were from outside the box for Endo. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use the coupon MitsuGR at the checkout for a 10% discount. You can see that Endo is the type of player that Jurgen Klopp likes in his midfield. Notice how he sticks to marking his man in this example while also applying a bit of pressure. Liverpool's high pressing system is not as good as it was a couple of years ago. That's because of the high age average in the midfield obviously, but Endo is 30 years old. It's clear that Klopp wanted a quick fix to the issues in the midfield with the signing though. His defensive awareness is decent. You can see how he covers behind his teammate in the midfield here as he was pulled out of possession. This defensive coverage is also seen inside the box. He wins the aerial duel here. We will come to his defensive stats in a minute, but you can see from the examples that he has a high work rate personality and also provides energy in that defensive mid possession. His attacking awareness really helps with the transitions as well. 
Another example here that shows how he gets back to apply the pressure, once his side receives the ball, he scans around and receives the ball while he's turning his body to start the transition. His attacking awareness plays a role here again as he holds onto the ball for around 4 seconds to perfectly time the through pass and also give enough time for his teammate to perform the forward run. Endo won 53% of his tackles last season. To show where he stands again, we can see that Fabinho won 58% and Henderson won 72%. It's good to note though that Henderson attempted 32 tackles only, whereas Fabinho attempted 65 and Endo attempted 70. You can see how these scans directly improve his numbers in every aspect of the game. Maybe you're tired of constantly turning into an opponent and losing the ball, or even annoyed at having to apologize to your teammate for making a bad decision. Well, I want to introduce you to an amazing tool to help you avoid this and become a more calm and confident player on the field. Be Your Best is football training in virtual reality. It's made by a team of football and technology experts from Norway. The main skill that Be Your Best trains is your scanning, but it is also used to improve players' vision, decision making and memory, allowing you to train these difficult skills from home anytime you want. In Be Your Best's main training mode, you will play over 800 scenarios recreated from real-life professional games, just like this one featuring Modric. You will be on the field playing the game from a player's first-person perspective. They have also just released a secondary training mode called Match Play which aims to replicate the experience of a real life game. This mod gives you complete control over your movement both on and off the ball, helping to improve your all-round position awareness. Match play is the closest thing to FIFA that I have seen in the VR world so far, and what's better yet is that it can actually help to improve your game. Now, Be Your Best has been used by both amateur and professional players all over the world, with Arsenal star Martin Odegaard having even trained with it during his injury period. Players who trained with it improved their scan rate by 28%. You can get 20% off your first month or year by using the code MITSUJIO at the checkout. You can find the link in the description down below. So overall, we can see that Endo's attacking awareness directly influences his style. Even when playing at that defensive mid position, he usually pushes forward quite a bit and calls for plenty of passes. His passing is pretty good. His forward passing numbers could translate to more chances created to the likes of Luis Diaz and Mohamed Salah. He scans a lot, but he needs to utilize those scans better and go for more forward plays whenever he is in that area of the pitch. If you missed the announcement, the Econo Coaches Academy just launched their new virtual campus. You can check it out by using the code MITSUJR from the link in the description. I highly recommend it. Finally, I wanted to thank you all for your amazing support throughout the years. We finally reached 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much again for everything and I will make sure to keep these videos coming. In the meantime, you can watch the analysis I uploaded on Liverpool's other signing, Alexis McAllister, by clicking on the screen right now. Let me know if you enjoyed the integration of stats with in-game examples in this video in the comments down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.